Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about the newest hunting rifle that I have in my collection, and that is going to be the Ruger American chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. I'm going to talk about everything going on with this rifle, why I chose this particular one, and how well it did in the most recent rifle hunting season here in Kansas because uh, I was able to harvest some deer with the help of a really good friend. Before we get into that, let's talk about the kind of sponsor for this video and that is going to be the Fit and Fire newsletter. If you guys are not familiar or you didn't see the channel update, I have gotten rid of Patreon. I've decided I don't want to be involved with Patreon anymore and I've gone to a newsletter. This newsletter is going to do a couple of different things for you guys. Number one, it's going to tell you what's going on with the channel, what are the projects I'm working on in the upcoming videos. Number two, it's going to give you links to some really good deals that I'm finding on the internet to hopefully save you guys money, not only on firearms, but ammunition, first aid, and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in those types of things, the newsletter is going to be a great avenue for you guys to do that. And then finally, it's going to show you some training that's happening throughout the country from some instructors that I really support and either have trained with or are hoping to train with in the future. So that's what the newsletter is there for you to do. Full disclosure, it will have some affiliate links, so I will get a small commission from anything you buy from the links that I share. And uh, that's a great way to support the channel at the same time saving you guys money. So if you guys are interested, swing on by fitandfire.com and right on the homepage, you'll see the sign up for the newsletter. I'd really encourage you guys to do that if you think that's something you're interested in. Okay, let's get into this video and talk about the Ruger American in 6.5 Creedmoor. First and foremost, this rifle is something that I think that a lot of people are going to be able to get in on uh, when it comes to a financial aspect. I wanted to find something that I could pull together and get out to the field and be successful in a hunt with for under a thousand dollars and this actually came in under nine hundred dollars with how I have it set up right now. Uh, this again is the Ruger American chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. It has the Go Wild camo on air. I'm not a fan of it, uh, but it, it's what my local shop had. But something I do like is, regardless of what you think about the camouflage on this, um, the bronze Cerakote that they have on this, coupled with this camouflage, makes it look really, really good. So I could go with or without the camouflage, but the combination of the two does make it look pretty nice. In addition to that, I have the Vortex Diamondback. This is a 4 to 16 power mill reticle, uh, kind of a horse Christmas tree style reticle optic. Uh, this came in at $399, so between the rifle coming in right around the $450 mark and then $399, we are looking at right at $850, give or take. Uh, and naturally these prices are dependent on when and where you buy this setup. But um, for under $900, this could potentially get you out to um, at least a thousand yards, no problem, especially with the 6.5 Creedmoor round. So there you have kind of a real quick overview of what's going on with this rifle. Let's talk about everything going on with it and why I chose this particular rifle. First and foremost, um, the action on this is pretty smooth, not too bad. And to be frankly honest with you guys, I am not an expert when it comes to bolt guns whatsoever. What I do know is I'm looking for a rifle that has a really good trigger on it and then good action as well. So the action is pretty smooth for a 400 ish dollar rifle it's pretty good this was one of two rifles that i was looking at the other one was going to be the tika t3x i believe and um, that rifle <laughs> that rifle felt really really good action was really nice trigger was really really nice and was better than this one however it was starting at 
about $700 and didn't have a couple of features that this rifle did. So I went ahead and got this one. And what are those features? First and foremost is it does have an adjustable trigger on this. So if you're wanting to dumb this trigger down to a little lighter weight, you can do that. I haven't done that. I kept it right here um, with a, about a four pound trigger. Yeah, it's about a four pound trigger on there. And uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. It's probably a little heavy for a lot of people, but for me, I'm used to mil spec AR-15 triggers not a problem. The second thing that I really, really did like about this is that it came with a Picatinny rail on the action straight from the manufacturer. So I could go ahead and throw on any type of optic that I wanted. Should it be a red dot? If you did that, uh, maybe, uh, some, maybe you had an ACOG, you could do that too. Maybe you had a, like a variable, a low power variable optic. Um, that's like a one to 10, uh, razor that's on a cantilever, you could put that on here, or maybe you just want to do a scope like this, standard rings, you can do that as well. As you can see, it marries up just fine, no problems there. The third thing that I really liked about this is the fact that it came with a threaded barrel. So I was able to go ahead and put a dead air flash hider on here so that I could equip it with the Sandman S that I have and uh, I really wanted to have the ability to Get out into the field have a bolt gun with a high-powered round in the 6.5 Creedmoor and not have to wear hearing protection having the Sandman S on here dampened it enough to where I didn't need to wear uh, hearing protection and my ears weren't ringing after I fired on some deer so that's three components about this rifle that really led me to purchase this instead of the Tika T3X. I could have spent a little bit more, still probably came right about that thousand dollar mark and had a really great rifle in the Tika, but this allowed me to come in about $250 cheaper and I was really happy with it. All right, so let's talk about the accuracy on this. Um, I was actually really surprised. Um, naturally, accuracy is going to be dependent on the shooter, the type of glass that you have, and the type of rifle that you have as well. So with that being said, taking me out of the equation as much as possible and shooting on a, uh, shooting on a table with sandbags to really kind of lock this in, um, I was able to get sub inch accuracy at 100 yards. Now, this is one of the interesting things that I found when it came to this rifle is once I pushed out to 300 yards to see how well it would shoot at further ranges, I got even better accuracy out of this. Now, we're talking MOAs here. Um, so at uh, 100 yards, it was right at uh, one MOA, I believe, but at 300 yards, it was sub MOA. And that was something that I was really surprised on. Not only in the fact that this rifle was able to shoot that well at that distance, but also I was able to shoot that well. <laughs> so, <laughs> See the paint chips were favoring the right edge. I think the wind was drifting you. Yeah. A few inches. That, yeah. That's a long open field between here and there. And pretty good wind velocity out there. Yeah. So uh, when I was able to get this out to the field and actually get some uh, rounds on target and harvest some deer, um, I I found that uh, this setup did very very well. The round that I chose is going to be the Hornady Precision Hunter. This is going to be a 143 gram ELDX round. And what I noticed when I harvested those two deer was the fact that there was no noticeable entrance wound, but there was about a half dollar or larger size exit wound. It was a clean pass through and uh, there was nothing left of the lungs 
on both deer and then the uh, heart was butterflied on one deer and the second deer, the heart was completely gone. So um, that says a lot about not only the 6.5 Creedmoor round, but also the American Hunter cartridge from Hornady. This is a very capable setup. Coming in, like I said, about $850. This is going to do a great job for a lot of you guys out there, especially for individuals that don't have, you know, over $1,000 to spend on a rifle for you to go out into the field and hunt with. This is going to do very, very well for you. So let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. Has Ruger done a good job for you? For those of you that have bolt guns from Ruger, or what is your opinion about the Ruger American? For me, it's done well. It will probably be the rifle that I use next season as well. So uh, we'll do a follow-up video if I continue to use this in the future. With that being said, I really do appreciate you guys' support. Go ahead and sound off in the comment section down below how I can better suit this channel for you guys, what you guys would like to see from this channel, and we'll try to make that happen. As always, we're going to go ahead and get out of here and tell you freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Take care, guys. We'll catch you later. Bye, y'all.